Hey guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to place and flow overset text in Adobe InDesign. Two quick things before we get started. To the right and lower right of your screen, I'm gonna put all the tool tips, quick keys, shortcut keys that I talk about, hitting my microphone. And the second thing is I use Adobe uh, Creative Cloud 2017. I know not everyone is, so if there's anything different here that you see that you're not seeing on your version, comment below and I'll try to help you out. So let's get started. This is sort of beginner concepts, placing text and dealing with overset text. So I'm gonna just take you through like a sample trifold brochure from the start to flowing some overset text. So we're gonna click on the new document button and I'm gonna bring this over here. The first thing we're gonna do is select the preview button so that we can see the changes that are happening as we deal with the settings in the new document dialog box. This top part here, just leave it on defaults. We're gonna leave the page size as letter, but I am gonna change the orientation of it to landscape. We need to edit the columns. Let's make three columns. The gutter is the space between the columns. So I'm going to change that to be just like what the margin is at half an inch. The margins are just guidelines that you set up to keep your content at a certain distance away from the edge of the paper. So I'm gonna click OK and we've got our new document. I, for some reason I'm running into a workspace issue where I don't have any of my toolbars or anything. So I'm gonna go up to Window, Arrange, no, Workspace and I'm gonna click Essentials. For whatever reason, they've disappeared for me and if they disappear for you, this is how to get them back. So now that we got that straightened away, which you you might not have run into that issue, but if you did, that's how you get rid of it or bring it back. Let's add some text onto our page. I have a separate text file in case you do, in case you're not just writing all your copy, in case you've been given copy from someone and it's in like a Word document, a text document, I don't know, Google Drive, anything. First thing I wanna do is set up a text box, which you can grab the type tool from the toolbar over here. It's also the shortcut key T. And just click and drag on your canvas. Use your columns as your guide and that will create a text box, which in turn, we can write anything in here. So if you're actually writing all your copy, that's how you can do that. You can use the formatting options up here to change your font, your point size. However, if you are using content from someone else, you wanna place that text into your text box, go up to File, Place. Select the document that you wanna pull in the text from, whether it's a Word document or, in my case, it is a text document in which I have pasted plenty of Arrested Development quotes. So I'm gonna grab that, hit Open, and you'll see that your pointer here has some uh, like a sample bit of the text showing you that, hey, the next time you click, I'm gonna place that text in there wherever you click. So if we click inside of our text box we created, it's gonna place all of that text in there. And I'm gonna change one thing here. You'll notice that I don't really have any paragraph spacing, uh, also known as space after. So I'm gonna select this text box, uh, use T for the type tool, and up here is called space after. And I'm gonna change that to an eighth of an inch, which is 0.125. And if you look, all my paragraphs get an eighth of an inch space after them without you know hitting the enter button a couple times. I'm gonna hit W to preview this. You've got some text on your page, pretty cool. Now you might notice there's a little red plus down here. That means that we have text that goes beyond the boundaries of our text box. And in fact, if I click this text box with my selection tool, grab the bottom of it and drag it down, we have more text that could be placed inside of there or less if you wanted less text in there. This is called overset text. And what we can do, there's a couple ways we can deal with it. We can create another text box in which that text will flow into. So if we press T again and create a text box in our second column, press escape to exit out of that text box so you don't accidentally type, click on the red plus, and you'll see another little preview of the text that we are going to flow into another text box. So if you just click on this text box, now we have two text boxes that are linked and you can see that by just selecting a bunch of text and keep going down and it will select into this one as well. If you were to add a paragraph, add a paragraph, notice it starts to flow into the next text box and that's exactly what we want. I'm gonna delete that. You can see that we have another plus down here. We have more text even. So if you click on this and without making a new text box, if you just click within the column, 
it'll create a text box from wherever you click all the way down to the bottom of the column, all the way down to the margin. So if I click here, it creates this text box down to the margin and fills it in with the rest of our linked text. So now we have all three of these text boxes linked together. That's how you place text and flow overset text into another text box. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.